Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. On my channel, I talk about fragrance-related content like first impressions, full in-depth reviews. I do fragrance haul videos, and I do top 10 lists, and I do free fragrance giveaway videos. So if you're new here, consider clicking that red subscribe button down below, and make sure you click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new fragrance videos and giveaway videos, you won't miss a beat. Today we're talking about a fragrance from the house of Navitus Parfum, and it's no other than Lautus. So I have the whole box here with the presentation. Uh, thank you, Stephen, for Red Legend for letting me borrow this fragrance to review on my channel. This is not a sponsored video by Navitus Parfum at all. I know Stephen, he's a great reviewer. I, we met several times, done fragrance videos in Philadelphia and in New Jersey. So I'm gonna let you know how it performs on my skin, let you know if I still like it, because when I first tried, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but I'll let you know if it's better or worse. Let's talk about the presentation. So every time you get a Navitus bottle, the box is pretty nice. I'll zoom in and show you guys. And this is pretty cool too. It opens up so you can actually see the fragrance and it has a note breakdown as well, which I'll go over in a few minutes. I like how the bottle, you can just pull it out. It's a nice display case. And the bottles are upgraded from before this one's really nice. I know the other ones apparently sold out and then they redesigned the bottle and the cap and stuff like that. Same juice, same formulation. As um, far as I know, if I talked to Steven, there's no issues at all. If there's any, I'll definitely update you in the video or towards the end, but no worries at all. Beautiful presentation. Let's go over note breakdown. So I have a little card right here, a little cheat sheet. <laughs> so we have top notes of Neroli oil, uh, lavender, yuzu. We have heart notes of juniper berries, fizza, Oris, and to top it off in the base, we have ambergris, plastier, rosewood, patchouli, sandalwood, uh, musk, vanilla absolute. Looking at about $136 for a 100 ml bottle. They have it on sale at the Navitus Parfum website. I'll leave the link down below if you want to buy this. Currently, the 50 ml sold out, so I'm sorry to tell you guys that, but hopefully, it'll get some more in soon. If you would like to buy this bottle and you live in the Philadelphia area, tri state area, I'll leave a link down below to Perfumology. Reach out to my boy Near Guy, he'll take care of you. You can buy this fragrance here and you can get a 50 ml bottle, it's going to run you about 135. So, you know, it depends on if you don't need a bigger bottle, a 50 ml bottle is fine. Um, if they have samples, I'll leave a link down below. I think they're sold out of samples, but nevertheless, reach out to Near Guy. He'll take care of you. Tell him that you saw this video or you know Casual Fragrance. He'll take care of you, hook you up. Now, let's spray the fragrance on a test strip, let you know how I feel about the fragrance. I love the atomizers, look at that. You can control your sprays and your mist. You can do a little bit or a lot. Hey, a little bit goes a long way, as I always heard in the fragrance game. Woo! So the opening, very bright, uplifting scent with the Neroli. So that Neroli vibe um, is citrusy, kind of bitter-like with the Neroli, how you feel in Neroli fragrances. Um, but it's very uplifting scent, very fresh and very approachable scent. Like fragrances like Tom Ford, Neroli Portofino, um, Zerzhoff, uh, Kobe. If you think of fragrances like that, that are very fresh, um, Neroli based and uplifting scent, you're, gra you're gonna gravitate and enjoy this type of a fragrance. If you don't like the note of Neroli, then the opening may not be your favorite, but the opening doesn't last but for a short, long, short time, which sucks, but it does open for the first 15, 20 minutes off of my skin and I love the opening. It's a great blast of uh, Neroli with that citrus, bitter orange feel. I love it. The middle of the fragrance, you're gonna pick up the lavender in the fragrance. Now the lavender in this fragrance uh, comes off aromatic, floral, uh, fougere type of a fragrance where some people might think, well, maybe leans barbershop-ish, maybe not, and I get that. There's some other fragrance in the video which I'll give you alternative to if you can't afford this. But yes, it has that lavender is the main stage of this fragrance in the middle of the fragrance. So if you like the note of lavender, you're gonna love the middle of this fragrance a hell of a lot. Cause it pushes in your face like this and I feel like it's a lavender bomb in my opinion. Um, just like Tom Ford um, Lavender Extreme, I love that one. So if you think that's heavy lavender, this is another step above that of a lavender based scent. Not too loud, but it is kind of loud um, when you first wear this fragrance, so please keep that in mind. Be careful with the sprays because it might choke you out or others, which I'll get to my story later on in the video. The dry down. Okay, so for me personally, um, the lavender is toned down, 
by the four or five hour mark on my skin. And then the sweet vanilla, the patchouli and the sandal will come into play. So more of the vanilla is more of the stage and the dry down gives it that sweetness in the fragrance. The patchouli is there, it's so in the background with the green feel to the fragrance and the sandalwood blends it out very well. That puts the patchouli and sandalwood together but primarily the, the dry down on my skin is very sweet, more of like a vanilla ice cream type of feel, which is not bad if you like that type of a smell. So it does transitions from fresh to lavender, um, floral touches then to the base of the dry down you're gonna get the sweet vanilla so it changes in three different stages which isn't a bad thing but some people might think it's too much so definitely try to get a sample get a decan and see if you like this before committing to a full bottle. Performance, projection, um, full arm's length. I'm talking beyond an arm's length for the first hour on my skin. It projects very heavily, so please keep that in mind. Be careful with the sprays. I would do maybe one, two, maybe three, um, and that's it. That first hour is very heavy um, because that neroli and that citrus, that neroli and citrus in the opening is nice, but only lasts for a good 15, 20 minutes. And after that, the next 40 so minutes is boom, lavender in your face. And it was nice, but it was kind of heavy with me at work. And I'm wearing this in a hot area at my job. So like it's just booming off of my skin, which I loved it, but it was too much um, for me at my job on top of sweating in the 80 degree weather. But at the end of the day, wherever you work at, just keep in mind with the people around you, you don't wanna be Mr. Cologne guy. You don't wanna be the heavy guy that wears a fragrance that they can smell before you enter the room. Longevity, you're looking at about a good six hours on your skin. You might get more, you might get less, but the three times I've worn the fragrance, I've got about six hours of longevity, which I can't really complain. Some fragrances you only get four or five hours. I get six hours. If I want to reapply it, I can easily get a decan or put in a sample, uh, spray it in a sample, and just bring it with me to work. So there's really no issues with that at all. Seasons and occasions. So for me personally, um, this could be a great, I would say, early spring slash fall and winter based fragrance. I think it's too heavy to wear in the summertime, but if your summers aren't really that hot, you could probably get away with this. If you're gonna be indoors during the summertime, this is a perfect scent you can wear indoors. I would limit to one spray, maybe two, no more than that, just because people around you are gonna probably pick this up and they're either gonna like it, love it, or they're gonna say you have too much of a fragrance on. So just keep that in mind moving forward. The type of occasion, I would say it's great for a date night. I would do less sprays. It's great um, for evenings. Um, if you're just gonna be around the house, lounge around. It's great to wear to run errands. If you're gonna run errands, like run to the post office, get groceries, um, run to the store and pick up you know stuff you need for the house. It's a good scent for that as well. So it's a great versatile scent. I just re would refrain from wearing this in the in the really, really hot summer days. That's all I'm trying to say, but these are recommendations. Wear the fragrance whenever you like and enjoy the fragrance. Ratings and final thoughts. Okay, so for me personally, I'm gonna give this from a scale of one to 10. I'm usually gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10. It does the job. Um, you can wear it about in three different seasons where I live at, and it is a versatile scent where you can wear it dressed up or dressed down. My only comment with this fragrance is I know the price is kinda of extensive for some people because this is a niche quality fragrance, so you're looking at about 130 to $150 for a bottle, so, you definitely need to get yourself a sample and try it out first, but if you feel like you like lavender-based fragrances, you like Neroli, you're gonna love this fragrance here, and you're gonna enjoy wearing this if you don't have a lot of other fragrances in your fragrance collection or wardrobe. At the end of the day, there are other fragrances that are on the market that you might be interested in if you don't wanna get this. So let me show you the other three fragrances that you should definitely consider, or if you have those, this might be redundant. So for the lavender note that you guys here in this fragrance, here what I'm talking about. Fragr try fragrances like Tom Ford Beau de Jour. This has a lavender note in it too. And it has like a minty feel to the fragrance, a barbershop fusier vibe. Tom Ford, um, Lavender Extreme. This is a very lavender scent. Uh, Rose de Parfum Scandal. This is another um, lavender based scent with mint and lemon, bergamot. And last but not least, this is the one that I feel like is very, very close to this fragrance here. If you're looking to side-by-side -side comparison, is in that, I would say, 85 to 90% range. Um, just with the lavender note, not with the other notes, just with the lavender, pure lavender, I would go with Rosier Parfum Danger. 
Uh, this is the cologne version. This one has lavender too. There's lemon, bergamot. This is a fresh one, but it does have that lavender. It has cumin in it too. So it does have similarity notes with the sandalwood and patchouli, but this is the closest you're going to get to this if you're looking for something to compare it to. Ladies and gentlemen, for watching another fragrance video. Thank you, Steve Rales, for letting me try this Navitus Puff um, Loudest Fragrance. I like this one a lot. You should definitely check it out. If you are new to my channel and you enjoy this type of content, before you go, I hope you consider clicking that red subscribe button down below. I really would appreciate it. Make sure you like the video and click the bell icon for future videos like this and giveaway announcements as well. I'll see you guys next video. Be safe. Peace.